All right, guys, welcome to another video. We're going to change it up for you today. Yep. And it's all going to be about Scott's hand. And I've been looking into some things because, quite honestly, I don't think I'm improving anymore. I think I'm kind of like hit my max right now. All right, so I went to the therapist and she said, just to get an update, I really haven't been going as much as I should because I've been working a lot and just because I'm working doesn't mean that I'm moving my hand the way I should. So she said I'm around 60%. Mm -hmm. But I don't feel like I'm getting any better than 60%. It's been probably about two, two and a half weeks and it seems like it's stiffening up. I think I'm getting more of a... Looks good. Uh, you know, scar, scar tissue. tissue is the problem. So I went online and I was looking for something to help massage my hand. Maybe while I'm sitting there, it's a little bit difficult for me to do myself. So I'm thinking, hey. That is I very need, painful, he said. I need to find something to help me before it's too late. And I don't have... I can't get my mobility all the way back in my hand. So, I, of course, I went shopping. And today Amazon. we're going to do a box opening. Let me open this real quick. Go ahead. We'll do a box opening. Don't cut yourself. You don't need another injury. Okay. That's better. And this is what I got. Can you see that? Rio. See the lights reflecting off of it in the back, but that's all right. There it is. And uh, is that to break down the the scar tissue? It's actually for a lot of things. Oh. They do. It's for you know if you have any kind of hand problems from the computer. Carpal tunnel. Carpal tunnel. It helps you with, and it's supposedly supposed to. From what I've seen online, it puts little. What do you call it? Acupuncture? Acupuncture? I'm yeah. not sticking my hand You're going to test it for No me. way. Because this is very sensitive. You told me you wanted sensitive. to put my hand in there. That's why I have that you on this episode. No way. Yes. No. So, we're going to go ahead. This thing works on batteries or AC power. So, how many batteries does it say it takes, hon? It says uh, four AA batteries or, and it has a one AC adapter. Okay, and just to let you know, it does so we'll have plug it, in. it does have a heat option. It does have uh, the pressure option. And what else does it have? Intelligent air pressure. So, if this helps me, then great. Let's open it up and see what comes in the box. Yeah, I just got it today. I'm so excited. That's why I'm trying to make a video of it because in case any of you guys out there possibly have carpal tunnel pain and from me doing what I do for a living my hands I could I could feel them for sure they they do ache I do also have a massage chair that I use you said that it hurt your back worse and it did hurt my back <laughs> worse yesterday you said it didn't do you any good Oh, it comes with batteries. All right. So, right here's the box, guys. That's what it oh. has. Sorry, hon. Trying to get it in there. This is the box. <laughs> so, it's got batteries. It's got your AC cord. I'll and it's got the machine. This. Okay. Also, from what I read online, it comes with these gloves. It looks like the hair dye gloves. And I think this is for two things. It does feel like them, too. It looks like them. Uh, two <laughs> things. It helps to keep the oils and stuff like that from getting the machine dirty. <laughs> and, you tired? I'm sleepy. <laughs> and uh, you can put lotion on your hands and put them in the gloves and then inside the massager. It's also supposed to give you softer hands. So... <laughs> That's not the reason why I'm getting it, but, you know. If you want softer hands. Might be an option. Yeah, because it warms it too, you said, right? Yeah. You can't so, warm it. Also, I wanted to show you this, guys, if you can, that light. But right there, that little red button, well, in case you have an emergency, you hit that button and it releases your hand. How tight does that thing go? Let me see how my hand feels in here. Oh, yeah. 
They what? said that this like end for people with really big hands and long hands. Oh, so the fingers stick but out. I feel a little bit. You feel what? It's, it's not like even a bear on. trap. It looks like a big mitten. It's like Let a me bear. see mine. Here, you got to do it first. So we're gonna put in uh, AC power, not battery. Look, my hand goes through. Then do your whole arm. <laughs> All right, plug it in, Jolly. Let's see it. Since the plug's on your side, let's see. Where are you plugging in at? I don't know. Here. All oh, right, that. there. Plug it into the side. Uh, what do we got here? We got buttons, so I'm gonna need my glasses. <laughs> okay. You have an on button. You have a red release button here in case it gets too tight for your hand. You're gonna to want to release it. You're gonna have the air pressure. You're gonna have the heat. You're gonna have the time. And you're gonna have the on and off button. Okay, so let me read this real quick to you guys so I can go over it. Uh, for the time, it goes between five to 10 minutes to 15 minutes. As far as the heat button to select temperature low and high. Oh, that's a low and a high, so, sorry. As far as the air pressure selecting button, it, it is default standard. So if you hit the button once, it circulates from low to high. The LED flashes once. If you hit it again, it will flash twice. It will be standard. Hmm. If you hit it again, it flashes three times, and that's the powerful all the time. If you hit it once more, that will be flashing four times, and it's the soft part. That's good. So that gives wow. you an idea on the settings, the heat, the pressure. I will probably go uh, for three, the most powerful setting. It's I don't three know. or four. That's three oh. for powerful, and the light will flash three times. Okay, the main reason I got this for is you know why, it's for my finger. But I also have, you know, sometimes my hands don't feel like, like you might have because I've been grabbing things, all, you know, working on things, and the job that I do, sometimes I, it just, my hands kind of bother me. Never know, I might have arthritis. But from or what I understand, never know. this helps you with that. This also helps you with uh, carpal tunnel, just sore hands, and blood circulation. I do want to mention this is not endorsed. By no. any way, we didn't get sent this. We're not being paid <laughs> to say this. And I haven't even tried it long enough to even give you my personal feeling about it. I'm just hoping that it gives me more flexibility in the hand, uh, like the... Therapist says I'm only at 60% now, but I feel like I'm at a plateau and I'm not getting any better. So I need to find other ways to see if I can. You need the scar tissue late, worked out. To uh, work on this. Also, I'm sure I'm going to get comments on why isn't the therapist working out scar tissue? The main reason is is I've been working a lot. I know this is very important. It's very important to find a therapist. I haven't really felt comfortable with any of the therapists I went to. So basically I wanted to pick this up so something that can help me out while I'm at home and because of my schedule. So whatever it takes, that's what I'm gonna do. And we're gonna have a test subject today. Her name is Jolly. We're gonna welcome Jolly to the show. <laughs> How'd I get volunteered first for this thing? <laughs> Alright, so first what do you do, Jolly? Well, you stick your hand in it. Now you stick your hand in the bear trap here. There you go. I'll hit the on button. And we want to make this powerful, right? No. Your hands are achy, right? No. My hands don't hurt at all. And if you call now... Oh, there we go. Do you want heat or no heat? That's fine. Okay. So how? what do you have it on? Slow or you don't even know? You just push the button on? I just pushed it. So let me show them. There's what the thing is doing. <laughs> How's it feel? So far, it's not bad. So I'm going to put my hand back down. Give it a couple seconds. That's a little tight there. It's squeezing from the tips of my finger going back towards my palm. And now it feels like it's squeezing my hand this way. Now it's doing my fingertips again. It rolls from the tips of your finger all the way back to the palm. 
but it doesn't do your palm it's not doing my palm it's squeezing from the top and from the sides and it's I don't know pretty uncomfortable I'd say because it got little bumps in here like, like ridges like ri is that what it is or is that what they consider acupuncture I forget what they call it it's not acupuncture but yeah, it's an acupuncture acu uh, acupressure maybe yeah it could is be. that a word I I thought I read something like that. Let me see. Anyway, it's not the most comfortable thing. I'll can tell I you turn that. it up? No. Nope. I don't know what it's at, but you can leave it right where it is. I think I read the instructions. No pain, no gain. Well, I have no pain. So I need oh, no well, pain. I, I need no gain. No, I'm saying I didn't have pain to begin with. Yeah, but this is what it is. If you get pain in the machine, then it's... I My hand is going numb is what it's doing. And I don't think that's it. There helpful. you go. It's already helping you out with any kind of pain you may have. You know what it feels like? It feels like a blood pressure machine. For your hand. On your entire hand. Except, you know how the blood pressure cuff is smooth? Well, this has little ridges that's digging into my hand. So I will not be using this little Brio machine. Oh, sounds like it's doing some work on it. It's working all right. I'm going to hit that emergency exit button in a minute. <laughs> you can stick your big hand in there. It's kind of I can good only for imagine you. how tight that's going to be on your big hand. Yeah. I mean, I know it says it's, it's smart to... air or whatever. How is it? That's it. No. I can't. No. No more? No more. Let's you see stick your hand. your hand. Oh my god. I look like Pinhead. You see it? That's ridiculous. You see it? Yeah, I will say one thing. I'm not wearing any rings on this hand. Oh, you're not supposed to wear any rings. But I was just going to say, you better take them off. Don't wear any jewelry. Let's you, try it. Yeah, you better take it off because, yeah, you tell them how your feedback is of that thing. Well, the heat works. I can tell you that. Yeah, it was warm, but... All right. I'm putting in my bad hand. Hopefully you can feel it on the scar tissue because that's, that's where, what I need. Yeah, it. that's where you need it. All right. Did it so even tell you? It didn't even tell you how far in to put your hand. Like your wrist should stop right here. You know what I mean? It could have been a little bit better instructions because it has a little mound in there where you put your yeah, palm. Yeah, you can or feel you it can, on your palm. Yeah, well you know where to put the palm, but I don't know. It just. Not my thing. Mm -mm. Not too bad. Uh, still getting tighter, I'm sure. Is this thing on like full strength? I have no idea. I need to do number three. Let's That's see the here. flash three times then, right? Yeah, let me see where it's at. One, two. Oh, well, that was three. One, two, three. No, because it goes to four. Oh. All right. Let me push it in a little bit more and see. Oh, it is normal for the user to have dimples on their skin. After using the massager, the dimples will gradually disappear within approximately Three 15 months. minutes. <laughs> Three months. Well, the way this thing's squeezing right now. <laughs> I'm telling you. I feel like I need to be sitting down or sitting back. With some music, birds chirping in the background. Yeah. Do not use while walking or driving. Did you see the size of that thing? It looked like a hamburger helper. It looks like you have looks a little... Like one of them press things that you make waffles in. It does look like a waffle press. Yeah. If you're going to walk around or drive with that your hand in that thing... That's... Remember, it is battery operated. I know, but who's so going to do really... that? Who's going to stick their hand in that big thing while you're driving? That's you have to make a quick turn somewhere. You're going to try to grab the steering wheel and you got this big toaster <laughs> oven on your hand. <laughs> or who's going to walk around with that big thing on your hand? Like you just got done making some waffles or you're walking around with the thing. Somebody's so going to think you got your hand. What was it, that that movie with Zoolander? And that guy had it in that... In a toaster? Uh, that, that uh, what do you call it, a thing that preserves... He had it in that glass thing that preserves oh, his hand. Oh, yeah. Because he was a hand model. Yeah. Do not wear hand ornaments or jewelry. Don't apply nail polish within one hour of putting your hand in there. Individual with indisposed 
systems like inflammation, blood status, stasis, or have undergone hand operations should not use this product. You didn't say that on the on the. You better, it it release. No, you bull crap me. No, I'm telling you, it says. Are you, you better be, Yeah, you better be massaging your other hand. Read the fine print. It didn't say Take nothing about out. that. Take your hand out. It says. It do didn't say nothing about that. <laughs> it says it, right here. Turn it off. Emergency exit. Emergency. 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 That thing ain't emergency nothing. Push that button. Oh, oh, I didn't push it hard enough. Wow. Precautions. Can you see that in there? That's normal. It is? I said. Yeah, so um, precaution number three says individuals with indisposed symptoms like inflammation, blood stasis, or have undergone hand operations <laughs> should not use this product. Can you get your money back? Because I'm not sticking my hand in there. What was it saying? It's good it. for like arthritis and stuff or carpal tunnel, but maybe not for surgeries. <laughs> that thing, you think they put that on a, what is it? Uh, a disclaimer? The, yeah, no, the description and all. That's why we're making this video. So people don't go out there and waste their money if they've had a hand surgery and think this is going to help massage their hand. Nope. Because it will massage your hand, but... Do not buy this Brio hand massager. If you've had hand surgery. If you've had hand surgery because it says it, you won't find out until you get it home and you read the right. instructions. All right. So, so hopefully this helps somebody because it's not going to help you. <laughs> it's not going to help you either. You're going to have to start I don't want massaging it. my hand. <laughs> I don't want All that. All right, thing. guys. Until That's the a little disappointing. It is. You have to rewrap it. It's like you're it, waiting for something back. to come in. You know, you got that two day prying. It's coming. It's going to do my hand right. Did your hand wrong. It did. All right, guys. We hope you enjoyed this video and it hopes it helps one of you guys out there on deciding <laughs> if you want this hand massager. All right, guys. We'll see you on the next video. Until then. Bye. bye.